This video is part of my full chat GPT course. Get it at a huge discount using the link in the description. Hi there and welcome to this video in which we're going to be checking out Codex, okay? Uh, so this is a, actually a little more complex, okay? So if you don't work in the in the coding area, okay, or development or anything like that, you won't be interested in this. Uh, but well, you can uh, press there on Codex, get started. And here we're gonna be having some information on, on what this works. So the cool thing out here is that you can uh, draft GitHub PRs. So uh, you can uh, do pull requests directly here on ChatGPT. Maybe you have your project, okay? And you want ChatGPT to add player movement. So you tell uh, this codex to, okay, create a pull request to add player movement, okay? And it's gonna be able to do that. You can, it can, it, it will navigate your code base, okay? Um, so it's gonna be able to give you a, um, deeper integration inside of your project and wait and a lot of things this works with github so you must have your project a uh, live as a repository on github so when you press on this here you basically press continue to github and well after signing in you basically authorize the connector whatever you have to do so here it is so first of all we have to uh, select an organization so I will connect a GitHub org and here I'm going to select my own uh, profile, okay? And I'm going to give access to everything, install and authorized. And here I have exactly that, every single project that I have on GitHub and can be accessed by Codex. So uh, I'm going to actually connect it to this project, for example, so I'm just going to press over here. And here we're going to press on create environment. And here we have some suggestions, okay? Um, so in this case, I'm not gonna uh, actually uh, start any of these tasks, okay? So I'm just gonna deselect all of them and press skip. And here you have like uh, some things. So uh, you have the repository itself. You have different branches. In this case, this project uh, only has one branch. But if you had multiple ones, you would see them there. And then here this button is, okay, how many versions you want of this task to be done? Let's say that we are in a game development project, as this is the case, and we want to create a player movement system. So here we have like different versions of the code of the implementations, and then we can accept one of these versions. So this is basically a Unity game that I have made myself. So it's basically this, pretty simple. Okay, so just we have some enemies uh, that we can uh, that we can uh, basically destroy. Okay. So let's basically give that uh that instruction okay and you have two modes we can ask okay we in which basically the agent is not gonna edit the code it's just okay uh how does this script work or how can i implement this okay um so all this and with code it will actually do that okay like execute these actions code this okay uh so in this case i'm gonna give i'm gonna have two versions just to see exactly how this works i'm gonna press code and the cool thing is that this can execute multiple tasks at the same time. So this is one task, okay, and which we should have the name in, in a second, okay, or here appearing. But at the same time, we can execute another thing. And this do, in this case, this is something pretty simple, okay. Um, so let me, for example, do um, on start randomize the player color. Once again, I want two options, so let's just press code. And as you can see, here you have like the backlog of tasks that are being executed. So now let's wait a couple of minutes and let's see what we end up having. Okay, so there we have both tasks finished. Uh, they both took something like uh, six, 80 minutes, so it was still pretty long time. So let's see what we end up having. So first, we randomize and randomize enemy color on start. So here we have the code. As you can see, it only wrote one, two, three, four, five lines of code in five minutes. So once again, it's pretty slow. <laughs> Probably if we have just copied and pasted the script in ChatGPT normally and told do this, it would have done it, okay? But of course, I do understand the idea that here, well, uh, it's like specifically for this. So you have, well, version one and you also have version two. So they both should be doing the same stuff. Uh, yes. So let's say that we want version one, okay? And uh, let me actually show you the this script right now. So this is enemy sprite changer. So here it is. So let me go to the. Oh, here it is. Enemy sprite changer. So this is the code right now. Um, and the idea is that uh, what this allows me to do is just randomize the color. 
Uh, I believe that uh, the version 1 is better because this one also changes the weapon color, but I don't want to change the weapon color, just the, the, the sprite renderer, okay, which uh, is, we check it out over here. This just is just the components of the player, so this is correct. Uh, so once that we're happy with this, we can either create a PR uh, or draft PR, or we don't have more options, okay, but I just want to go straight forward to create a PR, okay. We have to wait a couple of seconds. And there it is. So now we can actually view the PR. And here it is, okay? We have a summary of what has been done. And we can, of course, take a look at the commit itself, the, the file change, which should be just that. Um, and then we should be able to just accept this uh, PR over here, merge pull request, confirm merge. Successfully merged and closed, perfect. And as you see, I'm here on GitHub Desktop. I've just fetched and now I can pull origin and it should grab these changes. There we go. And here it is. Okay, so merge pull request. Uh, and now if we go back to Unity, perfectly, this is reloaded. We have Visual Studio Code and now these lines have been added. So this is good. And this basically should be working. Okay, I don't know. The code I should be working just fine. Uh, but let's see. So yes, as you can see, all enemies have now different colors. Okay. Uh, so it worked flawlessly. Now, of course, this is pretty uh, comfortable, let's say, to, to use, but it, it does take like a lot of time. Uh, I don't know if maybe this is worth it for more complex problems, okay? I would have to test it out because maybe for a complex problem, if it takes 10 minutes, it's worth it because maybe you would have to spend one hour, okay? But well, uh, it does require a lot of testing, okay? So I just wanted to let you know that this tool exists, okay? So this is finished right now. So merge. Perfect. Then we have randomized player color on start. So this is the other task that we had. So as you can see, it's pretty similar. So we have version one, sprite renderer, random color, HSB. Perfect. And version two should be something similar. So rather than doing it on awake, it's doing it on start. Personally, I think it's better to do it on start. So we can once again create the PR. Okay. And now we should be able to just view it, I believe. Uh, it's, uh, it's creating still. So let's give it a second. There it is. Once again, we can just merge it. Oh, but before doing that, let's take a look at the script. So uh, it's player movement. So a start should be modified. Player movement. Okay, it should be added right over here. So let's go back over here. Uh, 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 no, this is the previous one. The, here it is, merge, confirm merge. Successfully merged, let's fetch over here and it should find this PR it is pull origin there we go here we have our two commits let's go back over here it's reloading and over here we should also find the code so as you can see it does work pretty well okay uh just bt for coding itself in lots of programming languages it works flawlessly such as in C sharp now what I like is the fact that it did take like eight minutes for generating this when it should have taken 30 seconds at most, okay? Uh, but the code is working. That's what it's important, okay? It's a tool that works. Maybe it's not fast. At least for, for simple cases, I wouldn't use it. Maybe for way more complex things, I would. Um, but right now, I don't really think things worth it, at least from this test, okay? But, any, but anyway, uh, let me know what you think. This video is part of my full chat GPT course. Get it at a huge discount using the link in the description.